Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Gabby, aka Mocha. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you're subscribed and hitting that notification button so you're not missing out on any of my upcoming videos. So let's get into this video, guys. As you can see, my hair looks super crazy. It looks super dry. My hair has been going through this little change. I'm not sure why. I think because, well, mostly because I haven't been taking care of my hair properly like I should. After I do a twist out or a perm rock set or any type of style to my hair, I do not keep up with it, sadly. And I do not put on my scarf. I just go straight to sleep, which is bad. Bad on my part. So... If you did watch my previous video, I said I'm going to start doing better with my hair, start doing low manipulation styles in my hair because I have been doing a lot of styles to my hair every week. So going forward for a little while, you will see me just do low manipulation styles, little styles to my hair, simple styles to my hair, just to get my hair back on track. Plus, I want my hair to be waist length. So that's my natural hair journey for myself for 2020. So today's video is just me doing a natural hair care routine on my hair usually i do this when i feel like my hair or my curls are loosening up and my hair is super dry so i always do a natural hair care routine and you'll see exactly what i'm doing if you stay tuned so as you guys can see my hair needs all the natural hair care treatments and love TLC, I don't know. To start this natural hair care routine, I am going to do a pre-cool and that's involving doing oils and conditioning the first process before shampooing your hair. And I'm going to use the main choice clarifying oil treatment and this involves with, you know, releasing all the clogged up oil and build up product that you have in your hair. So the products that I have been using, I'm noticing that it's not really cleansing my scalp like it's supposed to like i have a lot of build-up product in my hair so that's why i'm going to start off with the pre-cool and using this oil and probably let it stay in my hair for probably like 10 minutes or so so let's get started this feels so good on my scalp main choice you guys should get this if you're experiencing the same issues like i am get this this feels so good on my scalp like i said my scalp was itching so bad it's a growth oil it's supposed to kind of release the builder product in your scalp that you're experiencing it has vitamins in there and helps to rejuvenate the scalp and that's Y'all, I'm gonna do better. <laughs> hey guys, so I let the oil sit in my hair for probably like 20 minutes. I let it extend a little bit longer, and my hair feels so much better. Like I said, I experienced a lot of itching. I know because my hair was probably experienced a lot of buildup product over a couple weeks. <laughs> So my hair feels so much better and you know the oil helps out a lot so now it's time for shampooing and detangling this craziness. to show you i got this hair catcher hair stopper hair crime stopper from kroger and i really need this and if you're anything like me my hair always sheds during wash day well i know some girls don't wash their hair in the shower but i do and i experience a lot of shedding and it always clogs the tub and i always have to use the drain so if you're anything like me make sure you get this from kroger i'm pretty sure it's probably at walmart too but let's test this out so for today's wash hair care routine i am going to be using mane and tail shampoo and conditioner i'm going to be using these two products never used this before but i've seen a lot of natural girls use this and it's no one had any problems usually there's a product that one or two girls had a problem with but i haven't seen any bad reviews with this and i wanted to stick to things that was traditional and 
that has been around a long time. These new products that have been coming out lately, recently, it's just haven't been working with my hair and I noticed that my hair my curls are not looking the same so I just wanted to revert back to what was always here and no one had problems so I'm going to be using this and trying this out it does have sulfates in there and I kind of need a, something to really cleanse my scalp like I said these new products haven't been doing that so let's see how this works out i'm kind of nervous because i feel like it's gonna make my hair brittle but let's stay positive here goes this is how it looks okay doesn't smell bad and it's used for animals too and it has directions on the back i know it's weird like why are you using something that's used for animals but it's made for humans too so Okay, doesn't feel bad so far. Usually I can like tell the difference when something's gonna make my hair feel brittle. I can feel it instantly. But this, making sure my scalp is clean, y'all. <laughs> and like I said, so far it's not making my hair feel hard at all. I'm trying to focus more on the scalp than my ends. So I just finished washing the mane and tail shampoo out of my hair and my hair feels a little rubbery and i guess because my hair is like fully cleansed and i like that it feels cleansed i love that so now i'm going to try the conditioner so let's see looks a little different smell like anything okay slimy that's some slip to it though My hair definitely feels cleansed after using that. It feels a little too cleansed because my hair felt like, <laughs> it felt weird. I can't even explain it. But I have no um, critiques about it. And this is like, it doesn't really smell like anything either. But it's a balance with the conditioner because it's softening up my hair. with that pre-poo and me shampooing my hair with that cleanser that made and tell oh my god my hair feels so good check it out guys feels so good and it feels super soft versus the last time i washed my hair it has volume the curls are here yes and my hair feels so soft there's no itching nothing 
I love it. Okay guys, so for the third process of my natural hair care routine, I am going to deep condition my hair. And you have to deep condition your hair, especially if you're experiencing dryness and especially if you are transitioning. This helps out a lot. So I'm going to be using TGIN's Honey Miracle Mask. Y'all, I love this mask. It has olive oil, raw honey. This is perfect especially if you're experiencing dry hair and you want your curls to pop it's good for damage um color treated hair and it has no sulfates um i used to use the shea moisture um intensive hydration hair mask but it's really good don't get me wrong but it has coconut in it and i'm trying to stay away from coconut because coconut it is my scalp but this is great too if you're transitioning and your hair is super dry. So let's get started. So usually I let the deep conditioner stay in my hair for probably about 30 minutes to an hour. Usually I do an hour if I feel like my hair really needs it. But since I pre-pooed and I shampooed and my hair felt soft, I probably will let it stay in for probably 30 minutes just so that it won't be so dry. But stay tuned finish washing out the deep conditioner guys and let me tell you my hair feels so cleansed i know i keep saying that but my hair feels so much better than it did last week like i said i had build up product and those products that i was using on my hair to cleanse my hair was not working was not doing the trick my hair does not feel itchy anymore it feels great so going forward i will start focusing on my hair and have that motivation like I did when I first started transitioning. When I had that motivation and that goal to have my hair back naturally curly, that's what made me to, uh, had me to stay focused. And now my goal is my natural hair journey goal is to have waist length hair. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So, doo -doo -doo. Yes, my hair feels super clean, super soft, it feels so much better. These are the results. And if you did watch my last video, you would have seen after I washed my hair, my curls were not looking good. Feels amazing. This is no product, just cleanse scalp. Okay guys, so these are the final results of my hair. I love how my hair feels. It feels so soft, feels thick, volume. My hair feels back to life. Like I said, I have to focus on my hair more. But I do thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more videos.